Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Soups channel. My name is Matthew Ramos and on this channel I aim to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So, after getting this amazing Avengers 4 trailer, today I want to dissect the trailer, break it down, point out the easter eggs, and some things that I think could lead to the overall plot. So, let's get right into it. So, starting off this very grim and depressing trailer, we see that Tony is lost somewhere in space. He's in Star-Lord's ship, known as the Benatar, which Star-Lord left in Titan. And Nebula is also in the ship with Tony. We see that he is sending a message to Pepper similar to the way he did in Iron Man 3 using the helmet. Next, we see that Thanos is still living in that planet, which is now known as Titan 2, which we saw at the end of Infinity War. The Infinity Gauntlet is very damaged. And while this is the only shot of Thanos that we get in the entire trailer, we can also see that he's wearing some kind of white knitted shirt and this is a direct reference to the Infinity Gauntlet comics where Thanos retired, put his armor on a scarecrow, and became a farmer. Next, we see that the rest of the surviving Avengers are back in the Avengers facility, and all of them are emotionally broken. We see Cap is crying, Thor looks very guilty as if he feels that the events of Infinity War are his fault and as we see Bruce Banner looking at a screen of deceased heroes you can see on the right side of the screen that Shuri died from the snap as it then switches to Peter Parker and it is presumed by the, by the Avengers that Scott is also dead this means that we could see Umbaku step up to become the king of Wakanda during the absence of T'Challa and Shuri. Next, we see Nebula on the Benatar, which is the same ship as Tony, and she seems to be comforting him as he just went through a tremendous loss. Next, we see Hawkeye, who has left his old life behind and is now Ronin. And it looks like he is in Japan fighting the Yakuza as speculated his and then he takes off his mask and the expression on his face is filled with revenge which leads me to believe that he lost his family to the snap as most of us are speculating next we see that Steve is wearing the stealth suit from Captain America the Winter Soldier which is my personal favorite Captain America suit in the MCU and he's still carrying the same compass which we saw in Captain America the first Avenger now guys keep in mind that the last time that Steve looked at Peggy like this he died so this could be a conversation before the final battle where Cap will ultimately sacrifice himself as he alluded to when he says this this is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. And now, for the final scene of this trailer, we see Scott is out of the quantum realm, and he's also driving the same truck through which he entered the quantum realm at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. And guys, the fact that they put this scene as the final teaser scene of this trailer leads me to believe that Scott is the key to beating Thanos and he is going to have a much larger role in this movie than we think. And finally, one of my biggest takeaways from this trailer was the way that the title formed. If you look at the title, the Avengers A seems to be reforming back from the ashes and I think this symbolizes that the Avengers are reforming, reassembling, if you will, 
in order to reverse the snap and beat Thanos. Yo, so there you guys have it. There's my Avengers 4 trailer breakdown and Easter eggs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time.